welcome back to our channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Terry. My name is Carrie. And we're so glad you joined us today for another episode here on the Carrie Terry channel. And in this episode on our channel, we're going to be talking about an honest review yes. of 2018. Yes, yes, and we're yes. going to really place our focus on the end of the year. And I'm going to be giving my honest experience of how I transitioned from singleness to true singleness. <laughs> and I'm going to give my experience of how I tr um, transitioned from singleness <laughs> to engaged. To engaged and to married. All in one year. So we're going to yes. talk about before, during, and after her wedding and, and our honest experience and honest. how we transitioned into those seasons so we we're so glad you joined us and we hope that you are blessed and edified and enjoy um this video with us today we already prayed for you that whatever comes out of our mouth it may be edifying to you and that god yep. may bless you and increase <laughs> you spiritually yes. in some small way by the words that we speak here on this channel mm -hmm. so we hope you enjoy and let's get into it let's go <laughs> so the year started la um last year mm -hmm. with us coming back from new york we had went to see family in new york and so the year had started with us coming back i think she actually came back from new york on new year's day i came yes. back home a couple of days before yeah. um but so that's how the year started and yeah. i think when we went into that new year it was just a regular i was going through my personal struggles mm -hmm. um it was a lot of insecurity that i was going through lack of faith in the lord um relationship ups and downs with that and and um i think i was so much so focused on one area of my life mm -hmm. and i neglected the other areas like i neglected my family mm -hmm. i neglected terry a lot because yes. of course i was focused on my um <clears throat> you know other things that i was focused on and i was ne neglecting other areas of my life however that's not to say i wasn't supposed to give you know my relationship or my attention because for me i don't know about anybody else but that is priority mm -hmm. for me but it doesn't mean that I should neglect other areas of my life. So the very fact that coming back from vacation after coming from New York, we you know we chose different flights. She came back down. I already started to say in my mind, you know, she came down a different flight because she wanted to come back here to her boo. Which and, is not true. And you're saying that's not the case. Because I wanted to spend New Year's with, with Kafani. I like the idea of coming back home and spending New Year's with, with um, your significant other or whatnot. So I like that idea. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is that you picked a flight on New Year's Day in the middle of the night because it was cheap. And I didn't like that. I didn't want to be traveling on New Year's Day day so okay. I, was, I said to myself let me get a flight that was a little bit more convenient right. because i wanted to be back home before new year's okay but that's when is it but i can remember definitely in 2018 feeling mm. like i was losing my sister uh. like i felt like i mean a lot of the resentment that came because her her husband and myself we had a lot of arguments together but as I reflected, now that we're on the other side of the situation and like we're on the other end, I understood that it wasn't him and, and, and he probably doesn't quite understand that it wasn't him. I think the resentment was coming from my sister. The, the thing is she had a hard time balancing everything. You know, she's only one person. I just felt like we just didn't spend time together anymore. It was just like, I felt like I was losing my sister. She's my closest friend. I don't have anybody in my life that I just kind of have that close, twin relationship with and so my idea was i'm gonna just shut everybody out you don't want you know you don't have time okay whatever like do your thing and i'm gonna do my thing like whatever like i was hurt but i didn't know how to process it and i didn't know how to give it to god i was just hurt by everything that was going on but in but looking back as well i was also going through my personal i know as well now i know that but then so, i couldn't see it i was also going through a lot of like mental struggles as well mm -hmm. where i was had i had a lot of insecurities i was definitely weaker in my faith mm -hmm. i did not know yet how to bring things to the lord like i mm -hmm. feel like that was the season where god was teaching me hey you can bring this to me so yeah. i used to worry about every little thing and you know i'm a detail oriented person mm -hmm. i am a detailed person so details 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 mattered and then i was looking at all these things and i mm -hmm. and i feel like i was just doing a bad job at managing Juggling everything that was going on and i was definitely just picking up what I what I could picking up what I wanted to pick up mm -hmm. and instead of saying okay God give me balance mm -hmm. and I remember in like like those fourth months fifth months of the year 
me starting started to pray for balance. Mm -hmm. I remember that specifically. I said, let's pray, God, give me balance, give mm -hmm. me balance. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was being intentional. All these videos on YouTube say be intentional, <coughs> make time. That's what I was trying to do, right. but I was losing sight of what yeah. was important. We, we had a lot of arguments. Yeah. It was a lot of tension. Lot of tension. It was a <laughs> lot of fighting. And I think, you know, it was just me not able to process, well, I understand the relationship, but I don't understand why we still can't be close or be we still can't be friends and we still can't hang out and we still can't confide in each other without it being, lot. you know, kind of like a you rush know, thing where yeah. I felt like I was always rushing off somewhere right. or I felt like I was always borrowing time. Mm -hmm. If I'm spending time with her, it's always borrowed time. In that season, got let go from my job, but so I was, you know, so that added on to more. Added, to, added to more. Yeah. I mean, thankfully, I had had support you know financial support and things like that so mm -hmm. but I I started doing uber to make <laughs> extra money and I started looking for new jobs and I just it was so interesting seeing myself right. it was almost as if I'm watching myself saying who is this girl yeah I remember I had so I, I felt I had so much tenacity when I lost my job I didn't I I did not feel I can't remember a moment feeling sad or mm -hmm. depressed that I'd lost my job. Right. I just remember going and just saying because it was God. It I was it was God's this. intention. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't say you lost your job. I, I just felt like God, God was saying it's time to move on because yeah. you're in a and I want to give away you're in a better place. Well, well let's wait for the testimony. <laughs> then you were again. Yeah, so I was like God, you know, because God, trust me, you you guys, God doesn't stop blessing His His people. Exactly. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, Amen. and He will direct your path. Amen. I'm telling telling you they that wait upon the Lord it's it's they good shall yes Amen. she decided she wanted to go back home to Jamaica for a couple of weeks and I didn't want to go because I didn't want to leave my boo I didn't want to leave and be gone and I just felt so much anxiety just yeah. going mm -hmm. but it's exactly what we needed yeah and so share your experience share after all the the things that were happening mm -hmm. mentally mm -hmm. share what did the trip to Jamaica do for you? Well, for me particularly, like my uh, another part of the struggle I was having was that I just had some friends and I love my friends, but it was just some stuff going on spiritually. Um, it was, you know, a unique situation I can't really explain, but it was just some stuff, some manipulation, so some stuff going on that I had to break away yes. from. Like I had to take a break and say, no, 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 no. You believe, but listen, I need to hear from God myself, and, yes. and I need to get a break from everything and everyone, mm -hmm. so I can understand what God is saying to me because I serve God. Yes. I don't serve man. And if He's telling yeah. you something, then I expect uh -huh. the same, same way thing. He gave it to you. You I want to give it to, give it to me too. In the name yeah. of Jesus, I always believe in that. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what. But getting that two weeks away from everyone and everything just kind of just broke off a lot of things i came back so refreshed and i came back like more focused i think jamaica really helped a whole lot i think jamaica yeah. took me out of the routine that i had yeah and i think it also took me into a new space and a new space of thinking so in jamaica i had new priorities so it wasn't about going over to kafani's or him coming over it wasn't about us going to the gym it mm -hmm. wasn't it was me now having a new routine and just having less on my plate yeah. less mentally i could stare at the hills all day where mm -hmm. i grew up and things like that and that, that was, was so therapeutic <laughs> before i came back from jamaica was because mm -hmm. i didn't trust the lord about what he had in store so mm -hmm. i couldn't let go and just so take it was an break. issue of mistrust mistrust so let's not go ahead and transition to what my brother Put a ring on it. Well, before he put a ring <laughs> on it, praise God, I got a job. Amen. So Amen. I got a nice school, which I'm at right now. Amen. It's Amen. amazing. A wonderful school. And I'm, oh, anyway, praise that's a Lord. whole other story. Praise the Lord. But, you know, um, my brother, he put a ring on, he got, he, we, Terry got engaged. So let me go ahead and uh, answer this question. Maybe some of you will have this question. Terry, did you struggle in that season being single with wanting a relationship yourself, being jealous mm. or anything like that? So let me answer this right now. In that season, it was more so, I was a focus on my sister's relationship because yeah. I saw all the dysfunction. I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> but let it away. In but a way. No, but that I don't know if my husband will watch it. Anyway. Let me say, the dysfunction wasn't necessarily on his part. It wasn't him. It he was an amazing. <laughs> he an was amazing an amazing man. boyfriend and he is an amazing, amazing husband. Like, he, is. Oh, he is. It was I love me. And I'm not saying, I'm not pointing all the fingers at me because, yeah. you know, it takes two. Let me say this. Yeah. They have a bomb marriage. Yes. Like, their marriage gives me hope that saying God is real yes. and God still is involved. But it took a lot to get there. Marriages. 
But what I'm saying is that in the recording and in their whatever, all that I saw was my sister being super selfish with this man and like not, you know, mm -hmm. giving us like a bond and it was all about him and it was da 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 da. So I, in that season, and it's not because I didn't want a relationship, it's just because our unique circumstance with my sister you know, struggling with the balance, yeah. I didn't have a desire to have what she had. <laughs> In that season, mm -hmm. there, there are those moments where I do get lonely and I think about my sister and I'm like, you know, God, you know, you saw it fit, but then God quickly reminds me, daughter, I have plans for you. Do you understand that you are right smack dab in the middle of my will? And that gives me peace. I'm like, thank you, daddy. Like, I know that. It is so well balanced by God's constant reminder yes. that Terry, you are in my will. I love you. I've got plans for you. And it's going to include a husband, but it's just not right. I, I want you all for myself. Yeah. I think when I finally realized when when i told the lord you know god i'm okay with whatever you have for me and yeah. i told him god even though kevani and i have, have been together at that point when mm -hmm. we got engaged mm -hmm. for about for almost two years mm -hmm. at that point i was like god you know what i will put aside a year and some ch and a year and um, almost two years mm -hmm. to the side if it means that and you'll see it in the prayer that i actually typed up on my phone when i mm -hmm. prayed i was like god I want I just want to be happy and I just want to be fulfilled in you mm -hmm. um, and I think that's when God really acknowledged the fact that I am serious about my relationship with him and okay. I've been a fool you know for not trusting him and mm -hmm. I it's my it's my own human error and mm -hmm. I acknowledge that mm -hmm. just like he says in Jeremiah when he was talking to the people of Israel he said if you just acknowledge your sin just say I was wrong and mm -hmm. turn back to me I'll bless you Amen. and that's I think good. he did that touched me I think he <laughs> did God. just admit you're wrong and yeah. I told God God you know what I was wrong I was wrong and Turn. but now I don't know how to do right and mm. he taught me right he Amen. taught me what was right so good and he taught so me good. how Glory to, to how to have that balance so my question to you is Carrie Ann how was it for you to transition from singleness really because even when you're dating you're still single uh -huh. to now being an engaged woman like expecting marriage what was that like for you mentally <sighs> mentally mm -hmm. I was dealing with a lot with the Lord then mm -hmm. um like what like the same things you experienced like just a lot wanted of to grow just wanted to grow in the mm -hmm. lord i think in this season i was just getting back into my devotions with the lord it's god um so but important. i think it's just me wanted wanted to find my footing as a mm -hmm. woman i felt i still felt like a girl and i really wanted to feel like a woman and we've been talking about marriage and talking about getting engaged for months prior to, prior to that it's just that we were trying to set up ourselves we mm -hmm. had some goals we wanted to accomplish first mm -hmm. before we got engaged so <coughs> once we got those goals together then we, when we were sitting as we were sitting talking and then mm -hmm. we were saying okay what's next mm -hmm. and there's nothing left so now we have to move on to what's next which was getting engaged so yeah. we got engaged yeah. so that was how that happened mm -hmm. and then moving from being engaged to marriage the, now what about the marriage so now leading up to the marriage it was very intense for me and my sister uh -huh. like we argued a whole lot you know in that last two weeks matter of fact the night, yes, before, the night before our family came it was a situation where i think it was I think for her, you know, I think for me, I it was a lot of me as well because yeah. when you have someone that's going to be marrying and moving into a new home, their old home, you know, to me, it's so precious in this home because it is my home. It's, it's where I'm going to live. It's where I'm going to lay my head. It's my world away from the world. And so I want to keep it clean. I want to keep it nice and, and, and fresh and still, you know, I take pride in it. But for her, she's moving out. And it's not like she doesn't care, but she's not going to care as much as I do. The thing too is yeah. we brought in some furniture that yeah. we were going to be moving in. So it was sitting in the living room for a yeah. while. And, and it was just a was mess. Getting, but I was frustrated uh, with you as well because yeah. I was saying, but you know my situation. Yeah. I am getting married. I have a wedding to plan. We have a budget. I know. Every I feel I was trying to do everything on my own and yeah. everything like that. And even that was a lesson in itself where mm -hmm. God taught me how to ask for help and yeah. not be so so you know selfish mm -hmm. with myself. Yeah. But at the time I was doing everything on my own. I wanted you to help me to plan the wedding. I, I wanted you and, to and I be did there and I could hardly see my you're doing everything without me you're not including me everything is make a fine i couldn't see beyond myself yeah. and i was it was a lot of selfishness on my part and i and i'm sorry you know what i'm saying it's and i'm talking about it like the day before the wedding y'all 
I have not worked so hard uh -huh. in my life. We catered the, the wedding. Like me and my auntie and my cousin from New York, like we cooked for 150 people. When I tell you tired, <laughs> when I tell you exhausted, <laughs> I was so tired. Like, I did not sleep for two whole days. Like the day of the wedding, cute. Like I just put my dress on and be like, yeah, let's go. Now you I was so tired. You look very nice. We're gonna post some pictures. You look very nice. Thank you. But I didn't feel I felt so exhausted. I, I was can't... tired too because Listen. the night before the wedding, I remember three hours before the ceremony started, I was at Walgreens printing invitation. No, not Walgreens, Office Depot. Printing invitations oh with God. rollers in my hair. Printing invitation, we're printing a program. Yeah, program. Oh my gosh. before the ceremony like we ordered the cake the cake <laughs> was baked and it got there i never worked so hard in my but it was life. well appreciated we definitely but appreciate it it was a labor of love and it, it was, was so good to see everything and come you know together what? and you know what too yeah. the labor of love and i feel like it's a testimony yes yeah. and it put the devil to shame yeah to say here's this girl mm -hmm. she could have whatever attitude she wants to have concerning this wedding mm -hmm. but she chose self-sacrifice mm -hmm. and it came together beautifully it was a wonderful sermon like everybody left that wedding saying man this was one of the best weddings they ever made Jesus. Life that wedding was just full of spirit and love and joy. The question I felt in our soul it was going to be a, we didn't know how, but we felt like it was going to be a wonderful wedding. Mm. I had all my plans and I wanted to go this and this way, yeah. but God taught me how to let go. Let go. And I had to carry that, like learning to let go and trust people mm -hmm. and ask for help and things like that. And then and I really then, enjoyed being a maid of honor. That yeah. was my first time. I'm like, <laughs> oh, that was fun. Um, that and was then was, fun. Yeah, that was no, that was my first time being a wedding, but it was it was. And an somebody did, was gonna throw the bouquet, but didn't throw the bouquet. Ended up three, two, one. <laughs> so much is that she knows how I am mm -hmm. she respects my relationship yeah. so much she gives me space yeah, I but got we it. talk every day <laughs> You know, so, every day. So it's kind of like it's learning how to. Every I know really. she's my sister, mm -hmm. and I want to make that time for her. So mm -hmm. we said to ourselves, "What is the best time that we can on spend?" Our way to work. We on got an hour. hour. We got an almost an hour yeah. every morning. We talk we're on driving, the phone. We're talking the phone together. And we, you know, and I really cherish that time. Yes. I really do. So we make time for each other, and then on weekends, if anything, we spend, we spend time, time together church, at church and together. things like that. And you guys, I've mm -hmm. only been married two and a half months, and I'm sure. As God continues to prune me and as he continues to work on me and things mm -hmm. like that, he's going to teach me new things mm -hmm. and I'm going to experience new things. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to grow and I'm going to change and I'm excited for what God mm -hmm. has in store mm -hmm. for me. I think that's it. I think that's I it. I hope so. that bless someone. Yeah. I think, I think God, I thank God for all the, the challenges that I've went through because mm -hmm. it can help me to help somebody else. Amen. Amen. And we thank you guys so much for joining us today. Yes. I hope that yes. you are blessed by our yes. Let us know in the comment section below if you want to. What is something that you have gone through in 2018 that has either built your faith, challenged your faith, encouraged you in the Lord? Share with us and let us have that conversation going yes. in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. We are so grateful for all of you who comment and are joining us. Um, and we are so thankful to God that we have a family of sisters and brothers in the Lord that share God with us. As we always say here on our channel, always guys, have fun, have faith, and be free. Bye free people. We love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.